What is up everybody? My name is Michael Gardner and in today's video we're going to go over five hot and unsaturated agency offers giving you a service and industry. Now being somebody who runs a B2B outreach agency, work for 50 clients, and I get a lot of insights into what works and what doesn't. And I get a ton of DMs from people who have the same offers who are struggling to get meetings and they think it's something to do with their deliverability or their scripts or their leads, but in reality we're just competing in a bloodbath. So common question, what should I offer? And I've made videos on this before, but you know, new offers come up all the time. And I think it's be really helpful for people who watch my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and give you five offers that if I had all the time in the world, I would probably do each of these. So let's go ahead and jump in. Drop it. Now the first one, I've only ever seen one person offer this as a service, but it could be a massive market. And this is impersonation and scam management for business influencers. So especially if Instagram, this also happens on Twitter, Facebook, other platforms, but there's a lot of people who impersonate accounts. For example, my account is Michael R. Gardner. It's always linked below, but there are tons of accounts that are my name spelled slightly differently. They have all my same photos. They have all my same stories. They have the same follower account of bot followers. And what they do is they'll message my followers and we'll try to sell them um, that I need money and I'm sick or that, you know, pay for a consulting call or um, crypto scams, a whole bunch of things. And it's really annoying because they block me and actually my other accounts too are smart and uh, harass my followers basically. So, you know, if a follower of mine gets scammed, even though I didn't do anything wrong, it can be bad for, you know, brand. Um, especially people who aren't very tech savvy, they have seven versions of you, follow them. It's just not that great. Now, for somebody who's a bigger entrepreneur, definitely in the B2B space, um, paying somebody to get these accounts taken down could be a great business model. Now, for all these offers, I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do a service. A lot of them I don't know exactly. Um, but I do know you can do this because at one point when I was putting a lot of effort into it, I'd have like 30, 40 friends report one of these accounts and it would go down. So if you could find a way to set up a network of accounts who could mass report false accounts and check on a daily basis and help somebody who's you know doing really well take down all their impersonators, that would be really valuable. And I've only ever seen one person do this. You have no competition and it could be a really easy, say $300 to $1,500 a month service, maybe even more. And the retention should be really good. Like, there'd be no retention issues, I don't think, um, because if a big, someone's selling a course, let's say five ten thousand dollars $10,000 course, you know, $500 to $1,000 a month to you know, potentially not have to deal with a lot of headaches that come with these person impersonation accounts. Great offer, really good idea. Fulfillment should be relatively simple and uh, definitely something to look into. And one more thing to note is like, compare how simple fulfillment is on this compared to like Facebook ads. Like you need to find some of a good product, a good website, good email marketing, creative, copy, targeting. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, so definitely something that if you're looking for an offer, I think you should consider. Next is content repurposing. Now, this was an awesome, awesome offer where you did YouTube videos, YouTube shorts. Um, it, it still works, uh, but you know, there's no one doing it. Then people said do this in courses and YouTube videos and everybody does the same thing. Um, you know, I get DMs and cold emails like 10 to 15 a week, people offering to take my YouTube videos and turn them into shorts. Now that's cool, uh, but if you want to stand out, I have never had anybody pitch me to a YouTube video turn to a blog post or a YouTube video and turn it into 15 different tweets and a few threads, or YouTube video into a Facebook or Instagram post. And the reason probably is because there's a slight more barrier to entry. It's a lot easier to hire someone on Fiverr who does content repurposing and just upsell their services. But when it comes down to actually like doing blog posts, you need someone who understands SEO or someone who does tweets, you need someone who actually understands copy. So a little bit of barrier to entry is always a healthy thing that means you're gonna have less competitors and it makes you stand out. So what if you help someone with your YouTube video to a blog post, to a tweet, to a Facebook post, to Instagram post, and shorts if you want. And you get out packages ranging from say $500 to $3,000 a month. The more content they want, the more expensive it is. Really good way to stand out and also a way to charge more by having the options available. Next one is email deliverability consulting. So for a lot of companies, especially big companies that have some corporate bureaucracy, uh, spam is a huge issue and big companies struggle with this because they're all using the same domains and it's just a mess. So um, a great offer to help people get out of spam, either for their email lists or for their cold email prospecting. And uh, never again, good offers have barrier to entry. There's not going to be courses saying exactly how to do them normally. 
and there's not going to be a YouTube video saying exactly how to do them. And you have to figure some things out on your own and actually learn a skill and not just hire somebody normally, which is, which is good. This is healthy for having an offer that people can't just rip off. So if you could go to people and say, hey, I can get you out of spam. Great offer. Now imagine if you paid 15 businesses for them to forward you all the cold emails to get better in spam. Then you pitch those people and said, hey, look, you're in spam. I can get you out. That's really valuable. Like if it's a, if it's a decent agency, they should be willing to spend, you know, say $500, $2,000 for an audit to get them out of spam. Like completely makes, completely makes sense. And, you know, from there, you could either charge a flat monthly fee to maintain keeping them out of spam, or maybe you charge like a fee per domain. For example, you charge $200 a month per domain to keep them out of spam. And you kind of get a client that has 20, 30, 40 domains. Uh, maybe you know start with a base fee and then it gets cheaper the more domains they add. But really good opportunity here. You do have to learn the skill or hire someone who knows it. But again, barrier to entry is our friend. We want to have an offer but can't get ripped off and we don't want to deal with floods of competition. Next one, B2B prospecting is a service through Upwork. Upwork is a deadly client acquisition platform. It's really good when you have the right setup, which means you have an optimized profile in the right country and you have a right bio and application and you have earnings on a profile, which takes a little bit of work. Um, and you have the right expectations because in Upwork, it's a deal of like sifting through a bunch of crap for a few good jobs. And there are some really good jobs. For example, we have a retainer. We're just closing for 6,500 a month from Upwork and we get at least one, two clients um, a month off Upwork. It's really easy. There's and people want to hire you for what you're doing. It's, it's great. So a lot of businesses don't use it. Uh, they don't see it as viable or they just don't have time for it. So if you could have an offer where you either set up someone's Upwork and then like a system for it and help them hire someone to manage it or set it up and manage it for them, that could be a great super high ROI offer, either as a one-time setup fee, one-time setup fee and retainer, or you do a one-time setup fee plus paper call when you get them a call, just make sure you set the standard for what counts as a good call. Uh, that way there's no issues. But again, really high ROI for the business owner, not much competition, fulfillment, pretty simple. Lastly, Twitter ghostwriting and outbound. And honestly, anything Twitter, but I'll focus on ghostwriting outbound. Uh, with Elon acquiring Twitter, there's a lot of buzz around the platform. And the reach has also been amazing for the last couple of years where like, you know, on Twitter, most of my audience sees my posts on Instagram, like five, 10%. It's a joke. Facebook's engagement also isn't great. So Twitter is awesome. And one of the ways to grow is putting out a lot of content because it's seen by people and like Instagram put out a lot of content. Maybe your followers see it, but Twitter actually goes beyond your followers because people who follow you when they like your photo, their followers see the notification, this person liked the photo. So you get great reach. So if you can help a business owner by ghostwriting and posting consistent content and also doing outbound and combination, for example, DMing people who engage with tweets or just completely cold or putting one of those posts up where it's like retweet for a PDF, setting the PDF and appointment setting could be a massive ROI where a lot of social media management um, offers are just like convenience. This could be ROI based on real metrics, not just vanity metrics. So, you know, like my Twitter, MG Entrepreneur, it's plugged in the description. It's also right here. Follow me if you're cool. Uh, we can generate five to 15 calls per month and it's not that hard and I'm not putting that much attention in Twitter. So could be a really good offer for you to try. Now, in summary, all of these offers can work. They will require learning stuff that may not be super easy to find online. You might have to pay someone to learn it. Uh, you will have to do outreach. You will have to have some trial and error. This is natural. And also, if you're just starting out, it's not a bad idea to test a few offers, get validation, then go in. But if you're looking for a unique idea, I think these five are great. I hope they helped. Now, if you want help actually building out your offer, building out the campaigns and doing everything around getting clients for your offer, we have a great training program called B2B Outbound.io. We have a free training involved with it down below. You check it out. Or if you're an agency that already has heaps of clients and you want to get even more meetings and want us to manage your campaigns, get clients, dfymeetings.com. I can talk to you there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great day.